George's woolly hat. Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Now, children, play nicely. And George, don't get your new hat muddy. <laughs> <laughs> we promise not to get George's new hat muddy. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye-bye. Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. Yes! yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? Yes, yes, <laughs> Granny Pig. It will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. This, Grandpa? That is manure. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. <laughs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it. Ah! <laughs> I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky! I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny! I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it! Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's toy plane. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. 
How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. <laughs> we need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! Gently does it. Uh, yes, like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow! The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Aha! You see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa! Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> Simple science. It is playtime at Pepper's playgroup. <laughs> Stop! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to our playground? We're digging it up. <laughs> Mr. Bull loves digging. <laughs> Hello! Daddy, why are you here? I'm working with Mr. Bull. Ooh! It looks like Mr. Bull is doing all the work. Mr. Bull just builds the playground. I do the hard bit, planning it all. Ah! I've worked it all out with science. That sounds very interesting, Daddy Pig. It is. Would you like to teach the children some simple science? It would be my pleasure. 
Let's start by doing an experiment. <laughs> what is an experiment? It's a way to find something out that we don't know. Like, how many children does it take to lift Madame Gazelle? One. A hundred. Ten hundred. <laughs> You're all just guessing. What's the answer? I don't know, but we can use an experiment to find out. Who wants to try and lift Madame Gazelle? Me! Me! Oh, I can't lift her. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for one child to lift. Let's try two children. <laughs> me! She's very heavy. Madame Gazelle is too heavy for two children to lift. Let's try three children. <laughs> it takes three children to lift Madame Gazelle. We just did some simple science. It was fun. <laughs> Let's do another experiment. Yes! Make a tower of blocks. <laughs> Very good, but the tower looks a bit wobbly. How can we make the tower less wobbly? Um, put the big blocks at the bottom and the small blocks at the top. Fantastic! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Can we do more experiments? Of course. Who can tell me their favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Peppa, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, yes! <laughs> Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. One. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. 
Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey, do 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 do. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun. <laughs> Dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. Little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. Okay. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <laughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. The castle. Today, Peppa and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked at owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello! It is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? No, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. 
and eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! Huh? It's heading for our car. Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. <laughs> I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Moo! Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, 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 my daddy! My daddy! My daddy! We need just one! Pepper and George have arrived back home. <laughs> mummy, the school roof is leaking. Again! Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! 
It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the zoo for the day. Go to the zoo! <laughs> bing, bong, bing! Bong, bing, boom! We're all going to the zoo! <laughs> Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh! But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh! We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Um... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, Gazelle, Wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. <laughs> ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins! 
penguins are very good at catching and waddling. <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello. I'm Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies. Mr. Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes, all this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr. Lion? Ho oh, ho! Lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice, and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Lion loves feeding time at the zoo. Everyone loves feeding time at the zoo. <laughs> Pepper has come to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. Do you think we should have told them we were coming? Hello, Mr. Kangaroo. Oh, Mr. Pig, what a surprise. You did say if we were ever passing, we should visit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kylie, look who's just dropped by. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Kylie. <laughs> Hello, George. Remember my little brother, Joey? <laughs> Dinosaur. Go, crocodile. <laughs> We're just going for a picnic. Do you want to come along? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> the kangaroo family have an aeroplane. Wow, you have a plane. Yes, we're going to fly to the picnic spot. All aboard! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh! Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now Oh, it looks like a desert It kind of is But the Outback is also a special, magical place for us Is our picnic spot with our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the outback, so don't. Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. Uh. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. <coughs> oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs. Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob 
Everyone <laughs> likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! Oh. If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. <laughs> oh dear, the ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper. Can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs. Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. Okay, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Pepper. Yippee! <laughs> I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Pepper. Oh, goody. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Station. Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. <coughs> now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up, and have a lovely cup of. <coughs> dinosaur. <gasps> George has lost Mr. Dinosaur again. Oh dear. George could have lost Mr. Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr. Dinosaur. Oh, well. Mr. Dinosaur is lost forever, then. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr. Dinosaur. Yes, and when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr. Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police mm. like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dine saw. Excellent description. Hmm, we do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow, what a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow. wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. 
Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. Who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. Dinosaur. <laughs> ah, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur, and Mr. Dinosaur loves George. <laughs> The carnival! Pepper and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello! Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Peppa! Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes, I can't wait! It's going to be amazing! With fire-breathing dragons! And magic people flying! <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great! What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello, Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right back. Wait a minute. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me, me, me! me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! 
Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait. There. <laughs> Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Hooray! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best Carnival ever. <laughs> Peppa loves Carnivals. Everybody loves Carnivals. <laughs> Peppa, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr Dinosaur, Susie has Penguin and Peppa has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh! I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend. Susie. I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Uh. Ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsea diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? 
<laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> <laughs> Police! Pepper and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. Ooh. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina! It's Dido, Dido, no, Dido. 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 cars go. Yes, yes, if I might explain, what I was about to say was police! The police! Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going! Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop! Well done, children! Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> Um, I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madam Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher, and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ears and eyes open! Ears and eyes open! Yes! Woohoo! This is fun! Ring your bell! Oh, yes! Ring bell! Brakes! Oh, yes! Brakes! Well done! And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh yes, we're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo -woo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peppa loves the police. 
Everyone loves the police. Scooters. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now, stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me! <laughs> See you later, Mummy Pig! See you later! <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast! Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye-bye, Daddy! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh! Now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. <laughs> brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! <sighs> Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Pepper and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering.